One. Way back in the, there you go. <laughs> As of today, it's official. We are opening our kitchen here at Tucker Brewing. So we'll be a brewery still at the end of the day, but um, we'll have great tasting pilsners and lagers as well as um, a full menu offering to our guests. Today's our first day of opening. I'm really excited to get to share my food with the public. We've been working really hard, Ashley and I, on creating a menu that is seasonal, focuses on local produce and also speaks to our beers and pairs really well with our beers. We've definitely got a lot of German influence in there. We have a really fantastic pork schnitzel that's served with a butterscotch carrot puree and some cranberry compote. So we're trying to have um, a little bit of traditional German as well as a lot of seasonality and make things new and exciting and change them around four times a year. The sauerkraut bites. They're something that's very different to the South, but um, my mom's family is from the Midwest and something that we grew up with. So we actually make our own sauerkraut bites here um, in-house. So a little different, but they go pair, pair extremely well with our TKR Pilsner. I love cooking because there's nothing else I'd want to get up in the morning for the way I do for this. You know, in this industry, you have to be very dedicated. The hours are long, the environment is hot and stressful, and you just have to be crazy enough to love what you're doing. And if you love it, there's nothing else you want to do. I have to say, we're blessed with a lot of really good businesses in Tucker, and some kind of go beyond being a business and become a part of a, kind of a fabric of the community. And we say, what would we do without them? And that's the case with Tucker Brewing Company. We've, we've uh, come to rely on them for all sorts of events and participation in the community. We're proud of their success and wish you much, much more in the future.